carrying from the 55 to the 85. I want to see if I can get um, want to see if I can get uh, watch out myself because why not? Um, that should be fun. So Thursday, as it comes into spring, all of these lovely little flowers, some of the fresh plant growth from the perennials. Um, you can see some of the ruins of what happened with the storms in the UK last couple of months. Um, it's a lovely place. I do love it here. Wind and all. Wind and all. So, quarantining. How am I holding up under the quarantining? Um, it's tough, man. It's tough. Most of my social activities involve groups of some sort or another. Um, hey buddy. You're on TV. Does your chat appear on screen? I have no idea whether it does or not. some time. Ah, cool. I don't know if I can turn that off or no without playing for the Prime version, if I'm honest. Hopefully the wind noise is okay. I've got the mic tucked into a little corner. So hopefully it's a little bit obfuscated from the wind. But dude, this is the bit of... Um, of England you didn't get to see. It's, um, it's lovely around here. Uh, my little little garden. That's not mine, but so so this is well, it is a bog. Um, this is one of the largest stretches of open bog land in um, the south of England, which. Uh, I can actually show you, means it is absolutely fantastic for one thing. Dragonflies. It is the largest natural spawning ground of, of dragonflies in the south of England. You come along here on like a, a nice warm summer's evening and it's it's amazing. I, there's just dragonflies absolutely everywhere. Hey Hannah, hang on. Hey Hannah, how are you? Hope you're okay. But yeah, the, the dragonflies are fantastic. But it also means, even though this is bogland and it's all stagnant water, um, there's absolutely zero mosquitoes, midges, gnats, and flying things of that nature, just because the, the larvae eat them and and everything else, which is really cool. Super cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm in two minds. You know, I'm, I'm pretty, I enjoy my own company, but having, having it forced on you is pretty rough. Um, I've not been able to go and like train anything for the past couple of weeks. Slowly imagining choking myself to death rather than anyone else. But hey, hey. Yeah, that's um, that's the tough bit. 
Oh, well, it's nearly a year since we and I split up, so I've tried to fill my evenings doing other things, but when you can't do those things, you're a little bit like, what the fuck do I do now? Other than masturbate to death, jerk the jerkin, beat the meat, all those lovely euphemisms. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. glorious sunset back there so I'm probably going to change where I was last time I shot uh, not into the sun but this time I'll try to shoot into the sun with some filters see what we get They've actually done pretty well on like um, some nature photography competitions in my local club just by coming in shooting the dragonflies here. Um, there's so many of them during the summer months that they they just you can hold a stick out and they'll just land on it, which lets you get some lovely lovely shots. Um, where do I think I'm going to shoot from? So, I could go this way. Yeah, no, it's lovely. Um, it's lovely here. It's one of the reasons I still live here. Um, and one of the reasons I wanted to buy a house around here is I genuinely, I love this place. It's really nice. Um, but well looked after as well. You can come along some stormy months and you know the boards will break and they weather and they come down in time but they um, repair them pretty quickly you know within two three days and it is well, that is well known it's not that um it's not that busy usually it gets worse during the summer but making pair of mallards um no you can't legally so this land although it's common land is national trust owned um, and so in order to fly into national trust land you have to get their permission which <laughs> you can guess how often they give that up um, which is a shame but in reality I don't think I don't think you'd want to around here so as well as being the largest natural spawning ground of dragonflies it's also home to several rare pairs of birds um, so over like in that far direction all the way down that way and um, we have a cuckoo that lives here um, during the summer months we also get a shrike from shrike hill we get a hobby so like just rare um, falcons that will just come down here and, and rare birds of prey um, because of the abundance of the summer months so flying a drone around here would probably be although if you got the permission you could I don't know whether you'd want to it'd just be a bit of a probably piss off a lot of people <laughs> there's a lot of um, a lot of bird watches that come around here so like uh, you can you can often come along and see somebody trundling along like a 600 millimeter f4 and you're like jesus christ uh, big piece of glass it's quite cool so i'm just 
just looking for something in the foreground to take a picture of, if I'm honest. Because this is a nice place to be. Just about here. Get graduated fill on it. But these rushes would be nice. I've got four bars of 4G. And it's going up at 2000 kbps it's funny oh, I guess it classes the poor connection based on what I set the max as bloody thing I like these old trees that have come down the uh, storms down here did a bit of a number I'm going to try and keep some of that oh this might do what do we think? Yellow. Uh, okay. Yellow daisies. No, oh, they're not daisies. Yellow flowers into some water into the sun. Get a nice wide lens on it. I reckon that could work. That could be fun. Let's give that a go, shall we? Ugh. So this is, um, shoe. this is one of the things I made sure I did. So I've got this little gimbal handheld thing uh, for the phone, but I've also got um, just a little mini tripod so I can, I can attach it and put it underneath and it all just works. Um, we'll see how that works, eh? Yes, I do. I brought that with me today. Uh, big ND filters, graduated filter. Good evening.
I'm not. They're not actually meant to ride bicycles on the boardwalk. But, you know, <sighs> live and let live. I, I get used to where the, um, the bayonet thing is. So, camera set up nice and wide. Um, I think what I will do is actually raise, raise this up a bit. What are we shooting today? Um, we are out in a place called Thursley Common, um, which is in the southwest of uh, London, I guess, even though I don't class myself as being part of London. Um, and Thursley Common is lovely, I love it, I love the colours, especially at this time of the year. So, what I'm just trying to do is just get some nature stuff, if I'm honest. So, what I'm thinking about at the moment. Um, is get some flowers on the bottom of, of the composition, get some leading lines, or at least some horizontal lines with the, the water, and then try and get a nice streaky sunset. But we'll, we'll see. We will see. So... I forgot at the moment, f16, one fifth of a second, which says it's slightly underexposed. So, uh, ah, now you see one of the problems with Thursley Common. Shouldn't let your dogs loose because we've got nesting ducks, nesting birds. Um, yeah. It's really shitty of them. I say that 100. Um, anything below 100 is, is just fake ISO anyway. So I'm struggling with the 28mm on this to get the flowers and the sun. Like, uh, this is blown out. So I might actually switch this to portrait. And bring it down that way. Let's give it a go.
I uh, I wouldn't go below uh, 100. I'd stay at 100. Um, it's too much risk of artifacting for me. So. see uh, there, I've got the sun right in the middle, um, I've got the daisies right in the bottom, I've got a bit of water on the side. I think the, the native for the A7 III is 100, which is why it's got a, um, if you look at the ISO settings it's got a, a black, it's got a, a box around the, the ISO setting indicates it's digital. This is the real world Hitzel. Some of us have got to go outside otherwise we'll go nuts. Um, it's a little bit crooked at the moment so I'm just going to center up and see what we get. How do I focus? Um, so I'm at f16, so pretty much everything will be in focus. The only things that will struggle to be in focus are these, um, are the picture, uh, are the flowers right in the middle. So because my focal distance from this is effectively 0 0.4 to 4 million miles away. Um, what I would tend to do is get my hyperfocal distance in the middle and go from there um, because otherwise it, the camera itself will focus on the thing that it thinks can, can get focused better on. Yeah, this is full frame. A7 three. Yeah, full frame. Best budget full frame camera on the market in my opinion. Wait for the wind to die down just a tiny bit. It's only on one twentieth. I'm just making sure the comp's right. That's what I want it to be. So, right, so for me, looking at it, I actually want to raise it and get the horizon on the two thirds. Um, and go on, because there's no point in composing on like a, a thirty second exposure, because I'll be there for fucking forever fixing every little bit. So I'll just compose on a much lower and then put the ND grads on and go from there. It makes it just a little bit of a better shooting experience.
Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm roughly happy with this as a as a piece of composition. Um, is I've got some graduated filters and some ND filters with me that I can use to bring this down relatively naturally um, and go from there. So we do. Uh, so Thursley isn't London, um, Thursley it's Waverley, um, well outside the M25, but um, still 40 minutes by the train. Evening. Hello. How are you? Uh, maybe. Do you want to catch an insect landing on the plant? No, no, no. So uh, it will catch from the flower all the way up to the sunset. Hello. Well, oh, good boy. It. Thank you. Come on, <laughs> I'm playing dogs and people. Um, so, yes. So, I've put, uh, I think it's just an ND2 stop on this. Um, so, it, 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 what it has done is I've gone from 1 20th of a second to get a full exposure to 2 seconds. Now let's make sure focus in the middle. Um, yes, yeah, strangers. Well, if we were on the street, I wouldn't talk to anyone. But this is this is nature. It's also um, I don't know. I've I've always found um, people a little bit less intimidated about having this much camera gear and a tripod and a phone, which I'm talking to. If if you say hello. Um, if you're just sat there talking to a mic as they go past, it's like, yep, person's walking behind me. They tend to, to look at you pretty weirdly. Um, so, uh, two second exposure. Let's see what we get. I might actually uh, bring it down just a little bit because I, I want that sky to have a bit more colour. There you go, see what we get. So, what have we got? Hi there. Like the sun. <laughs> never, never let it be said that the English people are more friendly than the Germans. Um, so, 
one of the things I was really cautious of, or at least wary of, I guess, is this water being too bright. I've got a circular polarizer in the in the bag, but I wouldn't. I don't think I can fit it on the wide the wide angle filter attachment. Um, but it actually looks all right. One thing I will do is I'm going to raise this up a little bit because um, it's a big old big old camera set up on a tiny tripod. It tends to sag a little bit, so I'm just going to raise this up um, and try and get more of more of the picture in the camera um, than anything else. So let's let's give that a go. I don't know, there are some really crazy Finnish people that hang out on these streams. <laughs> no, no. I, I, I try to be friendly, I try to say hello to people um, as they come on past. I'm also, I, I'm also not the smallest of people um, and just being friendly to over your hi, how's it going? Um, should hopefully mean that uh, people are okay. So, get that focus back in the middle. Uh, it's just tilted a tiny bit. I'm just going to fix that. Now, 1.3 second exposure. Uh, what have we got? Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. So this is the picture um, as it stands. Caught it when the wind died down. Um, I sent the sun. Should be able to bring out loads of colour. I don't know if this, this really shows up on my mobile and streamlabs, but lovely pinkish orange hue um, and the clouds in the sky which is nice this is it, technically it's golden hour um, sunsets in about 20 minutes or so um, but we'll see it was it, it, to be honest it was nice to get out the it's nice to get out of the house and shoot and do something um, like quarantine, it's uh, long and short of that. It is really windy now. Jesus. Um, I don't know if it will show up as well, but it is really blue back here. So you can see the start of the blue hour starting to come as you come around. You get more of that gold and an orange. Um, yeah, you know, social distancing and isolation and stuff doesn't mean you can't go outside. I've not walked up and licked anyone that's uh, <laughs> has come past. Uh, dogs licked me though, but oh well. Um, you know, get outside, shoot something. Got another another person and a dog coming by in a minute. Hopefully the wind will die down before then. Um,
it's got a stick as well. It's lovely. Evening. Thank you. No eyes. see the, the light change as well so it's gone from like 0.3 underexposed so a third of a stop to now a full stop underexposed which should mean in reality I can put the more time shooting like three and a bit seconds let's go for that Uh, details in the middle, nice and sharp. Well, sharp as you're going to get, and a five second exposure. But I should be able to play with some of that when I get back inside. Wait for the Why would they ignore you, buddy? Why? <laughs> I don't know, you know, like, in reality, right? If I'm stood behind my camera, that's a, a fair amount of the walkway that's been taken up. It, if you see them coming up, you know, standing, standing to the side and, you know, good evening. That's, um, that's a reasonably neighbourly thing to do. Why would... Why would they ignore you? What's the what's the point? Oh. So I think this is probably going to be the last shot. The light is disappearing. The light is really going away. Um, that's pretty shitty of them, to be honest. I would say good morning to your hits all. I would, I'd give you the benefit of the doubt. Windstone down. Let's do that a couple more times, try and get a shot and then pack up and head in I think. This is only a, a titchy tripod though, um, if you guys look this bad boy up. Um, it is not very large. I've got a much larger one back in the car, but um, I tend to carry this one with me because I'm lazy and it's really light. Um, so it works. It works pretty well for this. And it's sturdy enough to carry this with... Um, it's sturdy enough to carry this. And I've put a 70 to 200. I wouldn't do it portrait though, it would probably fall over. Um, and I would use the tripod collar, but it, it will it will carry stuff like that pretty well. It's what eighty quid for a tiny carbon fiber tripod. That's that's pretty cheap, really. Let's wait for it to die down. See all the ducks coming in home now. Going to find their roost for the night. They disappear off the water. This, uh, I, I tell you what, this thing was was eighty, eighty pound, maybe, God, eighty euros, depending on what's happened to the pound over the last last couple of weeks and that's it's pretty cheap considering it comes with um a ball head as well um well well worth it i 
wind has died down. Let's go. Really died down. What's your what's your tripod? What are you using? Like a K and F or a Benro or something similar? So I don't know whether this will come up too well. But that's the composition I've got. Five second exposure. Um, it's saying it's about a third of a stop underexposed, which is all good. Um, I'm just going to wait for it to die down again. We we'll get that shot. We'll go from there. Walk you back to me car. Oh yeah, I think they're pretty. They may be like sister brands or something. Um, I think aluminium is is probably a little bit sturdier than carbon fiber in some circumstances. Um, like, there's no problem if the tripod you've got does the job, mate. Then I'm all for it. Actually, let's try and do a shot where I focus fully on daisies instead. They're not daisies, I know. But. horizon line so I can if I want to do a bit of focus stacking I can um, but I probably will given the wind but it's better to have like that um, better to have some options especially now the light's all gone but as you can see light's all gone it's all pinky it's all a bit dark now so I might as well pack up and head in. Nice 50 minute shoot outside. Crazy.
dirty bags. A hell of a dirty bag. This is what it looks like now. All the light has gone. It's now getting super windy as well. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but my hands are super cold. I am right now a chilly boy. Um, so, time to head in. Time to get warm in the car, put all the stuff away, go from there. Um, thank you, thank you very much for everyone that came and um, kept me company today. Um, super appreciated. Um, I want to try and do this more often. I did, I, I, I did one a couple of weeks ago. Um, I don't think I got the mobile settings quite right, but it feels like this one's been a lot more stable um, and has worked a little bit better. So hopefully if I can can do these more often, take you along on little adventures, it forces me out to go and shoot. Um, and also, it should be quite fun and entertaining for you guys, I hope. Love this old tree. This, this little old tree. Um, dead now, but it's just in the right place. It must have been here for some time in order for the boardwalk to go around it. everything is now. Um, I think next, maybe tomorrow, if I come out and do this tomorrow again, and whether the same, we'll shoot from here. And rather than have like some daisies as the foreground interest, um, we'll use the water and shoot that way. Because you can get right to the edge um, and shoot all the way in. So I'll see if I can take you along on that. Um, some of the stuff's not coping well with the wind at all. So yeah, maybe that'll be tomorrow's tomorrow's thing to do. Uh, yeah, love watching the wind and the water. At all. Uh, sunset just happened and 20 past 6 is sunset uh, today. So yeah, good shout. How's everyone coping with quarantine? How are you guys doing? Hopefully 
hopefully better than me hopefully you guys are getting along just fine those of you that were here for the last live stream I tried to do and this is where I tried to shoot from so these that way um, was nice but uh, windy once again I hadn't brought my filters with me so I can, can get a, a longer exposure um, yeah Oh, what a day. Dragonfly stuff. see the ducks come in. Oh, geese. Uh, black and white geese. Canadian geese. We've been invaded by the Canadians. And they're not sorry about that. Apologise if we've got any fun in Canada who watches this. My Canadian accent's probably atrocious. So yeah. nice way to spend an evening go home eat some food um, get these pictures into the computer see what I can do um, affinity photo now works again which is nice um, they fixed a couple of bugs they did on the latest release oh, geese are really low Geese are oddly terrifying, in my opinion. They're just, like you never realise how humongous they are until they fly right in front of you. Um, you know, if a goose wanted to fuck your shit up, probably will. It'll be nice to do this in the summer. Um, Shu is now unmuted. What? What did I miss? Shenanigans. I call shenanigans. It's um, it's gone really well. Uh, hopefully, I've got a picture I I, I wanted. Um, high second exposure. Blah blah blah. ND filter on the front <laughs> yeah it's it's uh, sunset happened five minutes ago so it um and it gets darker from here even the geese are heading home uh, so that probably makes sense for me I'll see what these pictures look like when I get back um, I might stream the, the finish of Midnight Rush is one of his challenge photos. Um, done all the clean up and things. Now I've just got to finish up a uh, DB frequency separation and then, and then see what I want to make of it. So um, we'll see what that's like when I get back inside. It's only, it's only 20 minutes drive away really. It'll take me long to get home, get changed. See why you've had dogs up and down on the boardwalk. It's not great. <laughs> as long as you've been using Dettol, mate, we're all good. Number one, 
99.9% of germs or Lysol. Dettol or Lysol. Make sure you're using those. They work really well. getting to the bit where I lose all signal now so I'm going to wish you guys good evening um, wish you guys good evening from uh, cold and windy UK and I'll see you guys soon bye